Susan Bond. I'm an actor and creative director for the Demitas Troupe, a not-for-profit theater company. I've been asked to come here this evening and tell you what the stage represents to me. The stage for me and all actors is an opportunity to create. We take the words of the playwright and we craft them into a living being. We flesh out the emotional and physical attributes, and we layer and create a rich history, which includes relationships and political aspirations, uh, socioeconomic status, sexuality, and a host of other things. We breathe life into the lungs of our creation until it's self-sustaining. We want this entity to be able to stand and exist on its own. We are storytellers. We want you to laugh and cry. We want you to, to feel. We want you to empathize. We want you to come into our home, our living room, our, our bedroom. And we want you to share and experience feelings that touch your heart and your soul. If we can capture you for a few short minutes, this is what we want to achieve. To borrow the words of Sanford Meisner, an actor's job is to live truthfully under imaginary circumstances. If you can suspend your reality and believe in us, then we have accomplished our goal as actors. Good evening and welcome to the next episode of Studio E. My name is Drew Kaiko. I'm the musical director and one of the founding members of the Demitas Players. For this evening's show, we will be focusing on the musical scores of the playwright and producer, Richard Cerulli's original song catalog. As the music director, I'm responsible for interpreting, arranging, and performing Richard's scores to capture his emotional and powerful writings Today's show will feature performances of some of his works performed by the Demitas Band under my musical direction. I hope you enjoy this evening's show. The first performance that we will be presenting this evening is A Matter of Time. It's the theme song from the play A Lonely Summit, which was performed at the White Plains Performing Arts Center. In this song, the playwright combined an existential poem with the melodic vocals and music to create a moving theme show tune. I added a strong bass line and African percussion as well as some flamenco tremolo picking in the outro. It's just a matter of time as life passes us by. Will there be sunshine in heaven's sky?
The second performance, entitled Blanca Song, it's the theme from the play Rondelet, and it centers on the play's protagonist, who is seeking to win back her former lover. The song is a very emotional and sensual instrumental that captures Blanca's persona. As a musical director and the lead guitarist on the song, I approached the playwright's original score by again using a strong, steady bass line that counters the main guitar melody. The chords have a Latin jazz swing to it, and it uses many different exotic scales throughout the solo. Thank you. 
Our last performance, Bailando con Rebecca, or Dancing with Rebecca, was written by Cerulli some years ago while at the Demitas Cafe. It's a cerebral, emotional, and sensual reflection. I kept the same guitar intro and bass line as the original score. It's a simple two note back and forth that rings throughout the piece with power. In doing this, it gives off a marching swing and has sounds of Renaissance melodies, with African percussions added. Thank you for joining us in another episode of Studio E. Please go to our website at www.demitasplayers.com to view the body and depth of all our performances. Lastly, I'm going to leave you with a performance by myself and Michael Brewster on bass. This is the Demitas Day. Mm -hmm.